Hi there, it is Wednesday, the 2nd of December, and we've just had that beautiful full moon, and I thought I would talk a little bit about crystals and how to clean them. And many people go online and they buy beautiful crystals or go and find it at a store and put it on their altar and start using it. And I would say, big no-no, work on cleaning that crystal first. And I'm going to talk, tell you a quick little story. Many years ago, we were traveling in Namibia, and there was this town of Swakopmund. And there were these most enormous uh, quartz crystals on display. And I'm talking about five, six feet tall um, crystals. And I touched some of them, not heavily, <laughs> just kind of accidentally almost touched them. And on the way home, I had to stop and park the car and get out and just puke up a lot of that energy that was in that crystal. So crystals are very receptive. Um, they pick up energies very easily. And so those energies when you touch them, can get transferred. And so it is very important that we clean them before we use them. Uh, and so I'm going to just talk briefly about how to clean these crystals before you start using them. Uh, one of the things that you can do is I have a massive stick of Palo Santo here. And you can burn the Palo Santo and let the smoke kind of clean your crystal. Now, you don't necessarily have to use Pau Santo. I have a smudge stick here of cedar and sage. You get it going nicely, getting all that smoke going. And of course, I'm going to have a very <laughs> smoky healing room in a moment here. Um, you can start seeing the smoke coming up. And then you take your crystal and you can move it across the crystal and setting the intention that I'm cleaning all energies that do not belong and who do not serve me and to have that re removed from this crystal. And you can, as so that's one way of doing it, setting that intention and saying that all negativity, negativity be removed from this crystal. Um, and another way of doing it is let, letting the rain clean and cleanse your crystals. Now, if you work with like this beautiful stone, like a piece of selenite, clearly do not put it in water. It does not like water. It will disintegrate. Um, now, when I'm working with clients and I'm doing extractions, um, I use a vocal crystal. I work with a very large crystal now. This poor one has seen some heavy-duty work and has been beaten up but when I take it traveling with me. And when I cr clean this crystal, I actually take some Epsom salt. I don't know where I put my Epsom salt. And I would put them in a container like this, not too much, just like a little bit on the bottom. And then I would pour some 91% isopropyl alcohol in there. You don't need a lot. And like that. And that um, is enough to create a nice little flame going there. I would move that over that uh, heat and clean it with Florida water. Now, mind you, I would open sacred space before I do that because the energies that I collect in here are entities too. And those entities are sometimes loved ones who just need to be sent back properly because they have not passed over correctly. So there's different ways that I treat different crystals. Um, I would also use Florida water. Uh, now in my tradition, 
when I use Florida water, I would take a little bit in my mouth and just in the lower lip and then just sort of blow it over my crystals with the intention of cleansing and clearing these crystals. Um, and so once you have cleansed and cleaned your crystals, it's always, I love having my crystals sit here on this shelf and getting sun. Now, mind you, some crystals also do not like to be put in the sun. They can, can fade. So um, check on those crystals. I think actually amethyst is one of them. Um, and the nice thing is now with this full moon every night, the full moon shines on my crystals and charges them. And so that's another thing that, that you could do. Um, I also kind of love to sometimes take my crystals out on beautiful sunny days and let the wind blow over them, the sunshine on them, the rain fall on them. And they're, you know, getting all those energies of the rain and the wind and the sun in my crystals. Um, so having these crystals clean, um, if you, especially if there's a lot of conflict in the house, take time to clean your crystals regularly. Um, and then when you um, want to do some healing work and you want to give uh, a gift one of your crystals to somebody for healing work, you can charge that crystal with the intention of healing one person and saying the name of that person and saying, may this crystal do and help and aid in the healing of so-and-so. And so these brilliant um, crystal beings are so beneficial in our lives. And so just sending, uh, treating them with, with care and love and um I actually, another thing that I like to do every so often is taking my Florida water <clears throat> and either dribbling a little bit of Florida water on my crystals as gifts, sort of like feeding them for the wonderful work that they're doing, um, and then putting them back um, to stay in a room and um, serving the different purposes that they do at different uh, different rocks and crystals have different purposes. So without going into further detail about that, I just thought I would let you know how amazing crystals are and these are just basic, basic things to take care of when you own crystals or when you buy a new crystal. I hope this helped you guys and hope you have a wonderful evening wherever you are and um, yeah, please feel free to like and subscribe um, and uh, have a wonderful evening. Take care.